for his first one-on-one -on -one interview since the scandal began. The governor of Puerto Rico, Ricardo Rosselló, is with us live from San Juan. Governor, thank you. Thank you, Shepard. Thank you for the opportunity. Representatives uh, in Congress on both the left and the right, Democrats and Republicans, have called for you to resign. The largest newspaper on, in Puerto Rico has said it's time for you to listen to the people and step down now. Here's what the President of the United States said about your government today. The Congress of the United States handed them $92 billion. And that $92 billion is in the hands of incompetent people and very corrupt people. But the governor has done a terrible job. It's not $92 billion, but the point is made and well made. And now a million people are on the street saying, get out. Why won't you? Well, uh, Shepard, thank you again for the opportunity. I, I've seen the protest. I've heard uh, the people talk. I've had a process of uh, introspection, and, and I did. I, I've made a decision. I'm not going to run. I'm not going to seek re-election. And that way I can focus on the job at hand. You know, I've had the biggest recovery effort in the uh, modern history of the United States on, on our hands. We're battling uh, corruption with certain initiatives that we've already started and certain uh, new ones that we want to put out there so that we can fix the problem. Uh, but just today, I signed a new procurement law uh, that guarantees that uh, decades of mismanagement that have gone in Puerto Rico without having the appropriate foresight about uh, purchasing and procurement uh, agreements now uh, will be singled instead but, but, of having 188 processes. My question was, one. there are 100,000 people on the streets, politicians of all stripes, the President of the United States, all saying you need to go, that this is enough. You've said no. Why not? Well, there's, there's an important uh, component about uh, rule of law and, and democracy, and I respect uh, that process. We will have uh, and we will propose certain mechanisms so that within the future uh, that process can, can go forward. Uh, my, my contention is that I need to work uh, beyond politics uh, so that we can address some of the longstanding problems uh, of, of corruption here in Puerto Rico and fix that problem. I have a, a proposal that I've sent to several of the aides of the president that we've been working on. I've I've had uh, a record uh, of what we have done and things that we want to do moving forward. Well, Governor, the, Those include frankly, frankly, challenging Governor, excuse ourselves. Excuse the interruption, but I have a limited amount of time. The corruption is rampant in Puerto Rico. Economically, Puerto Rico is in a fiscal crisis, $70 billion in debt <clears throat> in a 13-year recession. In the leaked nearly 900 pages of profanity-laced messages now dubbed Ricky Gate after you, sir, you made light of the casualties of Hurricane Maria. You casually tossed homophobic and misogynistic remarks. You were calling the Puerto Rican former New York City Council Speaker, Melissa Mark Vivierto, a whore of the oversight board that controls Puerto Rico's finances. You said, go F yourself. And when your representative to that board said he's salivating to shoot the woman who's the mayor of San Juan, you said you'd be doing me a grand favor. So attacks on women, attacks on gays, attacks on the dead relatives of your own residents across your own island, and after all that, who's left to support you? And is it even safe for you to continue to attempt to govern? Well, well, again, I've, I've apologized uh, for that. I'm, I'm uh, making amends for all of those efforts. I'm You've talking to You've apologized for what, this was specifically, a, a, Governor? For, for, for all of uh, the comments that I've made on the, on the chats. Uh, that is one thing. There's another effort uh, that needs to move on forward, which is uh, the battling of corruption. Look, uh, we have implemented the, the corruption IG, was in, in your uh, own administration, $15.5 million. And five people who were on those chats, you got rid of all of them. You, they are now out of the government, but you remain. Doesn't the buck stop with your office, Governor? That's right. I, I, but I was elected by the people of Puerto Rico. And those and my, people are on the streets uh, of your biggest to city today saying, the... we want you out. That's the headline in the main newspaper. And the politicians on both sides of the political aisle on your own island are saying the exact same thing. You're a man on an island by yourself. How long can you stay there? I, I am, my effort and my commitment is to follow through on some of the efforts that I've uh, established for the people of Puerto Rico. That includes establishing, again, a plan that I've already uh, circulated with uh, the members uh, within the White House uh, so that we can battle uh, this corruption, so that we can uh, tackle w what government employees uh, are doing, what we are doing as elected officials, and a collaboration with the federal government. This is the biggest recovery effort in, in the United States uh, history. 
it's important to state that we have the biggest uh, step program in the United States for homes. The IG came over here, uh, the federal IG, and they established that uh, nothing went wrong on that on that program. So there are a lot of efforts that we've been doing now. If you want to drain the swamp, you need to tackle those problems. Governor, we've who's come forward to support you in the middle of this chaos? There, there are uh, folks that have supported me. There Who are specifically folks is supporting that, uh, support, you today? Uh, the, the rule, uh, the rule. Uh, there, there are people. Uh, okay. you Could just you have give to, me one name? Uh, see them out there. There is a protest. Well, it, it's it's. Uh, I've talked just one uh, name, to people uh, from different groups. Yeah, uh, a lot of people from the administration. Governor, you're not uh, able to uh, give me the name of one person in Puerto Rico who supports you continuing yes. as governor. Is that correct? I can. So the mayor of San Sebastian, for example, uh, supported this effort. Whose Mayors, name is? Uh, from different municipalities. Uh, Javier Jimenez, for example. Uh, there are uh, other uh, uh, folks that have established uh, people in the legislature and people uh, in the Senate as well have supported the, the state. They have uh, supported the fact that I'm not going to run uh, and that I shouldn't seek re-election, but they've established that it is important to follow rule of law. So there is uh, support, Shepard. I, I understand uh, the visuals that you're seeing and what's going on. I've heard that. What, what have you heard it. from I've the made, demonstrators uh, on your street today? Give me some examples of the sorts of things that you've heard today. Well, uh, we've heard that there is uh, obviously disappointment. Uh, That's not I what I've heard, that. Governor, with great respect. Uh, we've been I've not heard that there's disappointment. I've heard Puerto Rican after Puerto Rican after Puerto Rican watching multiple satellite feeds and speaking with our people who were in Puerto Rico today and listening to journalists from other organizations, and I've not heard the word disappointment. I've heard that... I've heard numerous Puerto Ricans say that you have disrespected them, that you have not led them properly, that you've made fun of them, that you've made light of them, that they no longer trust in your leadership. For example, you got 660,000 votes to be governor of Puerto Rico. By all estimates, there are more than that on the streets of Puerto Rico today demanding that you step down. Listen, I'm not making light of the uh, of the demonstrations. I'm establishing that uh, we we've established uh, what we want to do, the efforts that, that are ongoing, and what we need in order to fix this problem. There is a problem. We started uh, to fix it, and we've already presented a plan. Now, I want to make sure that we can uh, that we can collaborate with the federal government, particularly with some of the federal resources that are coming over here. I've established, and I uh, I challenge uh, that we can get a a, a federal funds SAR over here in Puerto Rico and in all of the agencies so that these funds uh, can keep on moving. These are the proposals that we have. And my, uh, you know, my objective is that we can establish this uh, conversation. The, these with sound like in reasonable the proposals so for an sure island that... in crisis. They, I'm sure they do to a lot of our viewers. But you're eliminating the past few weeks and the last 10 days of demonstrations and the widespread calls and all that you've said. You said, I have apologized for my mistakes. That's how you've called them repeatedly. That's what you call them in a, in a news conference that you held just the other day. Mistakes are things that you do that you didn't mean to do or that you did by accident or in error, and then you go back and you correct them. 900 pages of attacks on people of your own island are arguably not mistakes. They're a pattern. And when you look at that pattern, if that were some other politician other than you, what would you say about that person? Would you want that person leading you after all that you said to those other officials whom you've now dismissed summarily? Well, well I, I would want uh, to showcase my record. Those are words. I would also showcase my actions, uh, the efforts that we've made in Puerto Rico, the challenges that we had that we're now starting on a uh, recovery uh, effort that we've done a restructuring effort with a fiscal oversight board over here, that we've reduced uh, the cost, uh, the expenditures on, on government, uh, because Puerto Rico was in, in a fiscal crunch, that since uh, we started in the, in the administration, we've made strides on the economy uh, and elsewhere, but most, uh, mostly uh, we've made policy changes that are significant for, for women, for LGBTQ, uh, for other sectors that are recognized as some of the most, uh, uh, some of the biggest steps in those in those uh, efforts. So again, I, I used uh, uh, words that I that I you know uh, I have apologized uh, for, uh, but I've also taken uh, significant actions uh, in in uh, in the direction of helping 
uh, you know, vulnerable sectors in our, in our population. Have you appropriately apologized? Have, uh, have you apologized to Ricky Martin? Have you apologized to the survivors of the people who died in the storm that ravaged your island? Have you appropriately come forward and asked for forgiveness and a hope to move on? Because the looks of your streets today would suggest that the people don't believe you had. Ten days in a row. Have well, you apologized sufficiently? And what will end these demonstrations as long as you're still in office? Well, again, uh, I have apologized uh, Sufficiently? To, to some of them. My effort is to apologize to all of them. No, well, you, you, know, you can do a, that here if you, if you want to have a mea culpa. If you're going to do a if you want to have a mea process, culpa, you're welcome to do that here. Yes, yeah, I've, I've done so. I, I apologize so you don't uh, to do all so the again. people uh, I've, I've, I've affected. So uh, to, uh, to Ricky Martin, to, uh, uh, you know, uh, to the, uh, uh, Melissa What about the survivors of the uh, dead people who were uh, made to, light to of? To, uh, uh, of course, uh, that that as well. I I, I apologize uh, for all of the things that I that I have. Why did you say it, it those is, things? Uh, what what uh, again, was it that inspired you to say those well, things to other officials in such a cavalier, dismissive way? Do Do you remember what it was over that? It wasn't just a day. It wasn't just a week. It wasn't just a month. It was two months, 900 pages in December and January of that sort of of language from the governor, by the way, about his own people. Well, uh, again, some of, some of that language is, is not uh, uh, mine. Uh, some of it was discussed by oh, other members true, within that. Oh, that's true, because it was someone I else who said I, I, it, no, that no, you're no, right, I, because no, I want to clarify no, that, no. and I apologize, because it was someone else who said, oh, I'd like to shoot the, the female mayor of San Juan, and then it was you who said, oh, you'd be doing me a great favor. Yep. So again, everything that that was said, I assume responsibility for. I apologize uh, for it, but I just wanted uh, to to establish I am in a position uh, to to apologize to everybody, uh, to make an effort for reconciliation. And now, uh, devoid and, and disconnected of the political uh, whims, my focus is to make sure that the policy that we have uh, enacted moves forward. Uh, you know, we, those of us who live back here stateside, have have watched the horrors that have ravaged your island and, and many of us, I know I have and a lot of people on my staff have looked and just have, have wept for your people. To see all that your people have gone through and the difficulty in getting everything fixed, the months and months without power and water, the devastation of the tourism economy at least for a while, seeing all of that really made us very sad and and wanting to help in some way. I know a lot of people around here have donated. Yeah. Do you love Puerto Rico? Yeah. I, I, I do love Puerto Rico. Well, let me, let me just Puerto add Rico, something. I was there. If you sorry. love Puerto Rico I, I, and you look there, out on the street and you the see that these hundreds of thousands of people, the next day excuse after me, the sir, storm. If, you, if you see these hundreds of thousands of people who also love Puerto Rico and have looked at the governor's office and said, that's a man who can no longer lead us, because, Governor, that's what they're saying today. The, the, they're saying the way for us to move on is to start fresh. We need new representation, and we want the governor to resign. And they've protested for 10 straight days. Today, the largest demonstration potentially in the history of the island. And you stand with firm resolve and talk about accomplishments. Do you hear them? Do, do, do you hear them and care what they're saying today? Or is the cavalier attitude from the text messages sort of living in the background again today. I ask not for myself, but for the people who are on a hot, wet day in San Juan and across that island today saying, we want him gone. Yeah, no, I hear them. And it's part of my introspection. And uh, I will continue to hear them. Uh, I will continue to make uh, my decisions uh, and work with the people of Puerto Rico. Uh, it is an island of love that I love. Uh, it is a people I love. I've, I've left every ounce of, of, of my heart, uh, everything that I've done so that we can recover properly. I was here, uh, sir, during that process when there was no food, there was no access to water, there were no roads, uh, working uh, as, as hard as I could with a lot of people so that we can get those uh, uh, emergency aid uh, to, uh, to the people of Puerto Rico. What about Rico? the so corruption of I, I all those dollars? I do Why did them. all that money go to politically connected people? Why wasn't there better oversight? Why are thousands and thousands and thousands of people long after this hurricane still sitting with blue tarps and not able to live their lives? Some of them yeah. 
don't have the basic necessities of life all this time later, and you've gotten billions and billions and billions of dollars from the mainland. You know, the, the people of Puerto Rico are asking tough questions. They've been doing so for a while. And most of them say in your newspapers today and on our cameras today that the text messages are not the reason. They're the final straw. They believe your administration has been corrupt and cavalier about their own existence, and they want you to leave, and you're refusing to do so. What makes you think that these protests are going to stop? And are you afraid that you might not even be safe to govern? No, uh, again, my, my, what I want to do is uh, continue on the, the conversation. There are some things you pointed out there that are important. But you've uh, refused parts, to meet with the people uh, who are protesting federal, outside. We, we, They've begged you to meet with you. They've begged for a sit down. And my understanding is you've said no. You haven't even done a one on one interview no, no, with that's... anybody in Puerto Rico since this scandal started. Just that news conference the other day. I've, I've had two news conferences with all uh, uh, with all of the press, and I haven't uh, rejected a conversation with with uh, with anybody. Uh, so I am committed to having that conversation, establishing a path forward through dialogue and working on the initiatives that we have to do over here. But listen, the the uh, blue tarp situation is one where we need those federal resources to come over here. I am uh, uh, challenging and proposing as part of our fix uh, that we can get uh, you know a federal fund SAR or that we can get connections from the different agencies to uh, the local agencies in Puerto Rico so that those funds can be administered properly. In terms of the uh, corruption, uh, this has been a long-standing issue, and we need to fix the system. It was a system that responded to people. Now we want a system that responds uh, to itself. That is why we've made procurement uh, reform. That is why we created the office of the inspector general that didn't ex exist here in Puerto Rico. We created that office early in 2017. We couldn't implement it immediately after the storm, and now it's starting to, to gain that rate. That is why probably uh, there was a difficulty in identifying some of these uh, elements of corruption. But from my perspective, I am fully committed on battling, battling corruption here uh, in Puerto Rico. And that will be the focus uh, from the remaining of my administration. Governor Rosselló of Puerto Rico, live from San Juan.